Welcome to Stacking the Shelves Mailbox Monday for August 28th. Um, this is actually my book haul for the last two weeks. I was at Gen Con last week and I said I was going to post about it, but I did not. Um, I actually didn't do a ton of like book related stuff there. We did a lot of uh, playing Pathfinder, which is a D20 module, kind of like D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, we did a lot of board game playing. Um, we did some LARPing, some live action role playing, and we did the True Dungeon crawl through there at Gen Con. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I did get to see Jim Butcher because he was there signing books, but I did not actually get to, my cat's about to knock the camera over. <laughs> um, I did not actually talk to him. Uh, the line was just outstanding. <laughs> it was just amazing. It wrapped around the whole convention center basically. My husband is like, what is this huge line for? And I'm like, oh, it's probably for Jim Butcher. Um, Lucy Snyder was also there, and so was Larry Correa, both authors that I wanted to meet. But I'm going to be honest, we get so busy at these things, and we're there with a whole bunch of friends. I just, when they were there, I did not have time to, like, drop everything and go stand in line to meet them. So every year I'm like, oh, I'm going to spend more time in the author's area, but I never do. So we did talk to a couple um, artists, and then... I also talked to Mike Rach and oh, Brian Smith, the two guys who do the Stuff of Legend graphic novel series, they were there. Um, they have some really beautiful leather-bound omnibuses that they're releasing, or omnibi, I don't know how you say that, that they're releasing for the Stuff of Legend. And uh, so I talked to them a little bit. The next Stuff of Legend book is due to come out pretty soon, book five. And it was just, it's great to talk to them, they're very nice guys. and. I just love that graphic novel series. It's kind of like a really, really dark Toy Story <laughs> done in. It's just beautiful artwork. And if you haven't checked out uh, the Stuff of Legend graphic novel series, you definitely should. All right, on to books. Um, I did get a few books this, over the last two weeks to review and read. Um, the first one I got is Evernight by Kristen Callahan. This is the fifth book in the Darkest London series, and it comes out next Tuesday, August 26th. Um, this one... Excuse me, this is about Molly Evernight and Will. And so Will has, I believe, was the one that got turned into a werewolf or something. And he has, like, these uncontrollable rages in him and Molly. This is kind of their story. Um, these have been very good, very good steampunk reads. They're romance heavy, so they're not, like, straight steampunk. But they do have, like, kind of a nice steampunk, like, historical gaslight fantasy type vibe to them. Um, they also have some romance in them, so if you are really adverse to that, I would recommend it. If you like that, this is a good read. Um, I enjoy them. I don't read a ton of romance, but it is nice to have um, a book, especially one that has like a steampunk or fantasy theme to it every once in a while, to, to read. Uh, the next one I got for review is The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in the Magisterium. And this comes out September 9th. I don't know a ton about this. I know it's a middle grade fantasy about some kids who go to magic school. And that's all I really know. So we'll see. It's by Holly Black. I pretty much read anything she writes. Although I wasn't a huge fan of her um, like Black Cat series. Uh, but I have liked everything else she's written. So I'm excited to see what she comes up with that. Um, the next one I got for review, I got through the Amazon Buy program, and this actually already came out earlier in August. I think it came out last week. And this is Servants of the Storm by Delilah S. Dawson. I got this again through kind of their, like, leftovers program. Um, I saw the cover and was intrigued. It just looks super creepy. And it ends up, it's about a girl who um, survived this hurricane that went through Savannah, Georgia. Her best friend got killed. She ended up you know, on medication and just has having trouble dealing with everything. She finally decides to, stop, decides to stop her medication and finds out that there's like this whole like magical supernatural world beyond this normal world. And um, supposedly she finds out this hurricane, there was like a more evil purpose behind it. Somebody caused it or whatever. I don't know. It sounded pretty cool. So I went ahead and got it um, to read and review. The other one I got for review I got from... Um, the publisher from Quirk Books, uh, you guys know I get a lot of stuff from Quirk Books, and I really do like the guy that I work with there, Eric, and I also really enjoy all the weird stuff they come out with, and this book rates pretty high on the weird scale. Um, so I got this from Quirk Books Review, and this is called Horror Store, a novel by Grady Hendrix, or Grady Hendrix. 
And it is basically, it's done up like an Ikea catalog, kind of. So like the starts, you know, have. But it's about like an Ikea type furniture store that ends up being haunted and what happens with the employees there. So I just thought it looked absolutely hilarious and absolutely just very weird. So um, I'm excited to read this and I think it'll be highly entertaining. And I, I, I say that comes out later and it's September. So I think it's September 23rd this book releases. All right. So those are all the books I got for review. I did buy two audiobooks and one I actually bought on our drive to Gen Con because we listened to The Magic Thief with my son and my husband, which I loved by Sarah Prinius. And so for the drive back, because it's like a 10 hour drive, we um, bought the second book in The Magic Thief series by Sarah Prinius and that is Lost. Um, Sarah, I think it's Prinius actually. Sarah Prinius wrote um, the Winterlane series, which is a, a young adult like fairy fantasy series, which I loved. Um, I had not read anything from her Magic Thief series until like a couple weeks ago. I listened to it on audiobook. The audiobook is phenomenal. They just do a great job narrating it. And I loved it. So um, when we did this long car ride, I was like, oh my gosh, my son is going to love this. My husband is going to love this. And they did. They loved it. It's funny. It's got some fun magic in it. Um, there's a big good problem there. The the main hero in here is he's just, he's just funny. He's like a... A thief that's learning to be a mage and he's just so, I don't know, he just takes everything in stride and has a pretty good attitude about everything and it's just hilarious. So um, if you do like Middle Grey Fantasy, the Magic Thief series by Sarah Pretty is, is, a, is really good. I've been enjoying it. So I already listened to that. The other one I got on audiobook is Revenant by Kat Richardson. This is the ninth book in the Grey Walker series. Um, this is an urban fantasy series about a woman who basically gets beaten and almost killed and when she comes back she can walk in the gray, which is the space between death and life. So she can talk to ghosts and interact with ghosts. In this book, her and her boyfriend, Quentin, end up in Europe um, trying to deal with a cult that's making these ghosts do all these horrible things. So um, I have been enjoying the last couple books of these. They've been taking Harper Blaine, who's the main character, out of her hometown of Seattle, I believe it was, and actually putting her, it's here Seattle, Portland, I can't remember, somewhere over there, that side of the United States, and actually putting her in international locations, which I do enjoy. So I look forward to reading that as well. I swapped one book this week through paperback swap, and that is The Colossus Rises, the first book in the Seven Wonders series by Peter L Larangis, Larangis, I'm horrible with names, Larangis. Um, this is one that it's a middle grade like mythology type of thing. It's about a boy who's really sick and in order he's going to die and in order to find a way to cure himself he has to collect these, uh, what did they call them, loculi, loculi from the seven wonders. So if he can collect them all he can heal himself or something like that. Um, I really like middle grade fantasy and especially mythology based stuff. I've heard really mixed things about this book. Um, I want to read it anyway, so I went ahead and I swapped a pad, uh, copy through paperback swap. So that's it for the boy books that I got this week. Apparently I can't speak for some reason. Um, I thought I'd do just a quick, uh, talk about what I am reading. Um, I don't normally do this, but I thought it might be kind of fun. Um, right now for the paper book that I'm reading. I am reading Visions by Kelly Armstrong. Um, this is the second book in the Canesville series. Uh, I actually have been liking this better than anything else I've read by Kelly Armstrong. I'm not a huge Kelly Armstrong fan, but I got this book and I'm really enjoying it. It's about a girl who finds out her parents were serial killers and she finds out they came from a town named Canesville. And Canesville has some weird stuff going on. Some stuff that's a little bit supernatural um, or paranormal. There's not a real heavy paranormal element to this book because she's still trying to figure out what is all going on. But I've been loving the characters, I've been loving the story, and I actually have really enjoyed, they're long books, but I really enjoyed the first book, Omens, and I'm really enjoying Visions. Uh, the second book I'm listening to on audiobook is Magic Breaks by Kate, by Alona Andrews, which is, I believe, the fifth or sixth book in the Kate Daniel series. That's like my favorite urban fantasy series right now. That and the Dresden Files are like right up there. So, um... I am I am listening to that. And then the third book I am reading, which I'm reading in ebook format, I always have like an audiobook, an ebook, and a paper book that I'm reading. Um, an ebook format is The Perilous Seas by Sherry Thomas, which is 
the second book in the Elementals series, and that has also been really good. So right now I am reading three absolutely terrific books. It doesn't happen very often to be quite honest, but it's it's making it hard for me because I don't know which one to read. Um, I want to read them all at once, and I am reading them all at once, but you know, whatever. All right, that's all I have to say. Um, I will try and post some pictures of Gen Con, and maybe we did take some video of certain stuff. There's a big like card, you build towers with cards, and we did some of that, and then you get to like throw money and destroy everything at the end of the con. At the end of the con, so. That was hilarious. We got a whole bunch of video of that, and I might post some of that stuff in the next week. It's just a matter of time. I just don't have any time. Um, all right. I hope you guys had a great week and that you got lots of great books and you enjoyed hearing about my book haul for the last two weeks, and I will talk to you next week.